In the last video, we were talking about how to transform our nonlinear data so it becomes linear. We were talking about an example where we were interested in the relationship between the age of an individual and his accumulated medical spendings. So I simulated some data and we're going to use it. So as always, read in your data. And we are using a data frame called medical and there is a CSV file on my desktop. We're going to read in with read.csv, open the parentheses, exclamation marks. We put in the path of our CSV file and we um, declared our decimal separators. Okay, so let's attach and view our data. So attach medical view medical okay now um let's take it for let's take a first look at our data so we, we're going to use a plot and we're going to put h on the x-axis and medical cost on the y oops medical med, medical cost on the y-axis okay um it looks like we have a non-linear relationship, but let's do a linear regression with, with the untransformed data. So model one, and we put in LM for linear model, and we're using medical cost, and we are regressing it on H, and let's evaluate our model. So summary, model one. Okay, and our square root of 0.65, that is pretty nice, but we actually know that there is much more to get. And by looking at my data, I see that medical costs are exploding when people are getting older. So medical cost is the variable that is causing us trouble. It looks like there's an exponential function underlying the data. And we've learned that in order to get an exponential data into linearity, we have to take the logarithm. But how do we take the log of a variable? Well, that's pretty simple. You put in log, open the parentheses, and put in the name of the variable. So log, open parentheses, medical cost. And it'll give you back the log values of medical cost. Um, let's rewrite our model. So model one log, this will be the log version of model one, is lm, open parentheses, and now we are using the log values. So we put in log, open the parentheses, medical cost. And we'll regress it on H. Okay, let's evaluate our model. So summary, model one log. Okay, now an R squared of 0.98 this is pretty nice. This is much better. And don't be surprised by the high value. When I was simulating the data, I was using an exponential function to um, to uh, form the data and I, just, I was just using some errors. So I guess in reality, things wouldn't be that clear. But you should get the idea. Okay, now do you remember how we retransformed our data? We were using the, the exponential function and we raised, the re we raised it um, to the regression equation. So let's do it in R. And you, what you do is you put an exp, and now you want to raise something to the exponential function, and you open the parentheses, and you simply put in, um, we want to raise to the exponential function inside the parentheses. So we want to put in the regression equation. So first of all, we need the constant, 4.8, plus our first coefficient, Now, this is pretty hard to do with just one hand. Oh, oops. Times, so oh, far. Times, sorry for that. Um, times, um, and now times the value of h. So in the last example, um, we were using 48, I guess. So let's put in 48 again. Okay. Um, yes, I was using 48 as the value in the last example, and now r give us, gives us back the exact same value. Okay, now let's say that there was no exponential function underlying our data, but a quadratic function. Do you remember how to transform our data? Well, instead of taking the logarithm, we took the square root of the pro problem of a variable. 
Um, and you can take the square root of a variable by putting in SQRT, open the parentheses, and you simply put in the name of the variable. So SQRT medical cost. And it gives you back the value for medical cost in square roots. Okay, now um, let's uh, put the, uh, or let's rewrite our model again. So we're going to use model one SQRT. So this is the square root mo version of model one. So LM, open parentheses, SQRT, open parentheses, um, medical cost. And we're regressing it on um, H. And let's evaluate our model. So summary model one square root. And we'll get back a an R squared of 0.87. So an R squared of 0.87 is great as well, but taking the logarithm is still a better option. So this is obvious since I was using an exponential function to simulate our data. But there are times when R is not, uh, or when it is not that ob obvious. Um, so you might want to play around with your data and see what happens when you uh, trend when you're transforming your data.